This video is sponsored by Motion Array. I'll show you how to create responsive text animations in After Effects and how to turn them into easy to use motion graphics templates, either to use for yourself, to deliver to your clients, or to sell. Who says no to passive income, right? Hey everyone, my name is Manuel. Get these text animations soon on Motion Array, a platform with tons of high quality video assets like templates, plugins, titles, transitions, music, and sound effects. It's the quickest way to make your content look amazing. A unique filter finds exactly the template you are looking for. All templates are easy to use, simple to customize, and come with step-by-step -step tutorials. And the best thing is you can start for free with hundreds of free assets. So why responsive animations in the first place? They make sense whenever you want to use an animation several times and keep the layout, like with lower thirds. Responsive shapes save you a lot of time in production, which is great, obviously, and it's not that hard to set it up. Let's choose the text tool and add some text, responsive. Use whatever font you want, it doesn't matter. Size, 200 pixels, and Let's make it all caps. We name the layer text. Next, with no layer selected, we double click on the rectangle tool to add a shape. Let's use a solid fill and no stroke. Red is fine for now. Let's move it below the text layer though. To make it respond to the size of the text layer, we need to know its size first of all. And we need to know it at the right time between the in and on animation of the text when it is completely visible. That's right in the middle of the comp, at the midpoint. So we add an expression to the size property of the shape layer and define the midpoint. var midpoint equals, in parentheses, this layer dot out point minus this layer dot in point. And the result divided by two, semicolon. The midpoint equals five seconds my comp is five seconds long, minus zero divided by two, two and a half seconds. Then we need to get the size of the text layer. var shape size equals this comp dot layer in parentheses in quote text dot source rect at time. Midpoint in parentheses, semicolon. Shape size equals, go to this comp, the text layer, and get the size of it at the midpoint. Then we define two more variables to split the size into the width and height. var shape width equals shape size dot width, semicolon. var Shape height equals shape size dot height semicolon. Finally, we add an array, square brackets, and shape width, comma, shape height inside. The autofill function helps you a lot, avoiding typos. The result is the shape width and height. Now both layers have the same size. To make sure the video footage and your text animations look amazing, power up your editor with the new Plugins Hub. Built for industry-leading software like After Effects and Premiere Pro. Install the Motion Array Hub and access more than 50 plugins that speed up your creative process. They come with step-by-step -step tutorials and work seamlessly. The Motion Array Plugins Hub allows you to easily add visual effects. And this is just the beginning. The link is in the description. For our text animation, we want both layers to be center aligned. We need to pin both anchor points to the center. We open the anchor point property of the shape layer and add an expression. To get the position of the anchor point, we need to know the size again, at the midpoint. var midpoint equals, in parentheses, this layer dot out point minus this layer dot in point. And the result divided by two, semicolon. Then var shape size equals this layer dot source rector time midpoint in parentheses semicolon. We 
define the x and y position of the anchor point. var x equals shape size dot left plus shape size dot width divided by two semicolon. We start at the left corner, move half the width to the right. var y equals shape size dot top plus shape size dot height divided by two semicolon. We start at the top and move half the height down. And we add an array. Square brackets, x comma y inside. And the anchor point is in the center. And it looks like there's a typo somewhere. Yep, I can already see it. There's a small L instead of a capital one. That looks better. The anchor point is centered. We copy the expression and paste it to the anchor point property of the text layer. Let's open both position properties and add the same position values. 960 by 540 pixels, the comp center. Awesome. Also awesome, the new graphics category by Motion Array. More than 10,000 graphic templates like vectors, icons, patterns, mockups and illustrations. Just drag and drop them into your project and customize them. Downloads are unlimited. Use the assets as much as you want for whatever you want. Corporate videos, Instagram posts, or client work. Motion Array has you covered. To make sure our animation is easy to customize, we add expression controls. And we add them to a new null object. Let's name it Controls. We go to Effect then expression controls and add two color controls. One for the text and one for the shape color. Let's name them text color and shape color. Let's lock that view here so that it is visible even when another layer is selected. Now we need to link them. We open the shape settings, go into the fill group and link the color property to the shape color control. The color adjusts. Awesome. For the text layer, we need to add a fill color animator. Then link its fill color property to the text color controller. Let's check it. The color adjusts. Next, we want to be able to add padding to the width and height of the shape. We go back to our controls layer and add two slider controls. Name them Shape Padding Width and Shape Padding Height. Let's maybe increase the slider range to 200 each. By right-clicking on the slider property, we adjust the two values. To add padding to the shape, we need to add the slider values to the width and height of the shape size. We click into the expression where we define the shape width, right behind dot width, and add a plus sign. Then link to the shape padding width slider control. Then we do the same for the shape height. Click in between dot height and the semicolon, add a plus sign, and link to the height slider control. And now you can quickly add padding to the width and height of the shape. Awesome. Did you know that Motion Array has an extension panel for Premiere Pro and After Effects? Access the entire library without leaving the program. Browse, filter, download, and import files with one click. That makes it easy to test options. The panel speeds up your workflow even more. Another amazing tool to take your content from good to the best. I think it's about time to animate the text, right? Let's start with a shape and animate the scale of it. We deselect constraint proportions and set the width to zero at the beginning. Add a keyframe, then we set the value back to 100% at 12 frames. We open the graph editor and slow down the end of the animation as much as possible. Let's check it out. 
pretty smooth. To make sure the text is only visible inside the shape, use the shape as alpha track mat for the text layer and make it visible again. We need an out animation, of course. So we copy both keyframes and paste them to the end. Right click on them, go to keyframe assistant and time reverse the keyframes. Then let's move them to the end. The text, let's create a simple typewriter animation by adding an opacity animator. We set the opacity to zero, add a start keyframe at two frames to slightly delay the animation. Then set it to 100% at 14 frames. We add easy ease to both keyframes. And just like that, we created a basic responsive text animation. You can add as much text as you want, the shape size adjusts. In the final animation step, we add protected regions. Let's select all layers and press U to see all keyframes. We set the end of the work area after the last keyframe of the animation. Then go to Comp, Responsive Design, Time, and create protected region from work area. We move the work area to the end and create a protected region around the out animation. This is awesome because now you can quickly adjust the length of the template without affecting the in and out animations. One more thing we should do is link both layers to the control layer. To create the actual template, we use the Essential Graphics panel. You can find the panel under Window. Let's maybe close these two windows. The first thing you need to do is to choose the comp you want to export. Then you move somewhere to the middle and set a poster time. That's like a thumbnail, basically. Next, you add all the properties you want users to be able to adjust. You should add groups. Let's add two. Global controllers and scene controllers. Global controls are the position, rotation and scale of the template. Because we linked all layers to the controls layer, that's the properties of them now. We add them and name them of course. Global Rotation, Global Scale, and Global Position. Let's check them. You can rotate, scale, and position the entire template. Then there are the Scene Controllers. These are the expression controls we added to the null object. The text color, the shape color and the shape padding width, the shape padding height, and the source text property, of course. The text needs to be editable. To make sure users are able to change the font and size, you edit the property and enable custom fonts, font size adjustment, and Full styles. One last thing you should add is line spacing. If a user adds more than one line of text, you need to be able to adjust the line spacing. You add a line space animator. Add a new line spacing slider control. We need the effect controls window again. Duplicate the bottom slider control. Rename it text line spacing. Then we add a line spacing animator. We only want to animate the Y value of it and don't need the X value. We add an expression to the line spacing property. Var Y equals we link to the line spacing slider control. The value is whatever the slider indicates. Semicolon. Then add an array. Square brackets. The X value remains zero. Value zero square brackets, comma, y. Let's make sure it works. 
Then we add the slider control to the essential graphics panel below the text property. And finally, you export it as a Morgoth file. Choose a folder, include a video preview, let's go! Import the motion graphics template by adding them to your essential graphics panel in Premiere Pro. Drag and drop them into your timeline, adjust the length, easy because we added protected regions, customize properties to make it a unique animation. Click on the link below to go to motionarray.com, download my templates pack there and a lot of other great stuff. On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.